Hello friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing about the assignment number 2 part A of laboratory practice 2 that is web application development. So let's see the problem statement of the assignment. So the problem statement is create version control account on GitHub and using git commands create repository and push your code to GitHub. So we have to push our code from local machine to GitHub repository using git commands from the terminal. So for this assignment, we will need some software. So we will see which softwares we will be using. So the first software that we will need is Visual Studio Code. So the link of this is given in the description box. So it is available for Windows, Linux and Mac. And download the user installer for your system that is 32 bit or 64 bit. Then the next software is Git. So we will need this Git. So it is also available for Windows, Linux and Mac. Download the latest version of this git that is 2.36.1. Now after downloading install both these softwares. And next that we'll need is the GitHub account. So to if you are not having previously the GitHub account, the link to create the one is given in the description box. You can create the GitHub account from the given link. So now we'll uh, start implementing this assignment. So for that we'll open first Visual Studio Code. So I have opened Visual Studio Code. Now I'll open one folder so that I'll create some files inside that. So I'll click on this open folder or you can open it from the file menu. Go to the open folder and select the folder. So I have created here WAD folder inside that I have created assignment 2. So I'll open this folder. Okay, so now I have opened this folder. Now inside this folder, I'll create one folder using the terminal. So for this, the command is mkdir that is make directory and the name of the directory. So I'll give name as part A and I'll hit enter. So now my directory is created. You can see here part A. but my current working directory is still assignment number two so i have to change it to part a so i'll write current directory space part a so now i am in the correct location that is correct working directory as assignment number two and inside that is part a so now before moving towards the git commands we'll first understand what is git and what is github so the git is a popular version control system and it allows us to track code changes then who made changes to our code and coding in collaboration also we can manage our projects with repositories and it allows us to see the full time history of uh, every commit and also we can uh, roll back to the previous commit so this is the main advantage of this git now next is the github so github and git is not same github is used to make uh, github make tools that uses git okay using git github is uh, github is making tools the next in short that uh, github is a web based interface that uses git and uh, it is a version control software that let multiple people make separate changes to the code or web pages at the same time in short G github is a web based interface that uses git and it allows people to make changes at the same time so this is basic introduction about the git and github so now before moving towards the assignment we will check whether our github uh, git is installed successfully or not so for that type the command as git space hyphen hyphen version you can type it in the terminal of vs code or you can also type it in your cmd that is git hyphen hyphen version so now you can see the version of the git that is 2.34.1 now it means my git is successfully installed now next i'll uh, create one repository so that i can push my code to that repository so for that click on this new or you can click on this plus icon and select new repository or on your profile you can select your repositories so from here i'll click on this new and I'll give name to this repository. So here I'll give name as vad assignment 2a. 
I have given the name as WD assignment 2A. Here you can give the description of this repository. So it is optional, but I'll give it as this is get hub assignment repository repository click on this public then just click on create repository now our repository is created so now we'll again move back to our terminal now we have to perform some commands here in the terminal so for that first of all i'll create one file inside this part a so click on it part a go to this file and new create new file give the name to your file so i'll give name as file one dot txt you can create any type of the file with any extension like html css dot html dot css but for instance i am creating the file with text format so here i'll write some content as name then i'll write suppose class then i'll write subject you can write any uh, content inside this and i'll also add the description of this file that is uh, this is file 1 okay, and i'll save it now we have to initialize repository in our local machine so for that the command is get space in it initialize so see here it shows that initialized empty git repository in this location so now uh, we have initialized the repository now we have to add the files so for adding the files there is the command as git space add space name of the file you want to add so here we have the file as file1.txt you can give the name after this add or else if you want to add all the files if there are multiple files then you can simply write dot and hit enter okay now i have added all the files now we'll check the status of the git so that is the com we have to execute the command git space status so see here changes to be committed so i haven't committed this file yet so it uh, it is showing that changes to be committed so we have to commit it so before committing we have to give the url of our this repository remote repository so for that click on this https copy this link i am copying this link using this icon then go to your terminal and write git remote add origin space in double quotes paste the url that you have copied and hit enter okay so now i have added my remote github uh, repository so now i'll commit the changes so for that the command is git space commit and if you want to add any message to identify the uh, commit then you can write dash m space in double quotes the message so i'll write message as first commit first commit so now i have committed you can see that one file change and four insertions because we have four lines so they it is showing as four insertions now we'll check get status see now here it's showing as nothing to commit uh, previously when we have uh, run the command get status we'll see that changes to be committed and the name of the file but now after committing we'll see that nothing to commit now after committing what we have to do is we have to push this to our repository so before that we'll check if there are any files inside this repository so click refresh so see now nothing is shown so now come back to your terminal and type git space push space dash u and then origin and then master so this master is the branch on which branch we want to push this code and then hit enter so it will push your code to the repository so see now i have pushed the code to the repository now we'll verify by logging into your this repos uh, github account and refresh this page 
so now after refreshing you will see that file1.txt with first commit is displayed so click on it after clicking you will see the content that we have written inside this file so it means we successfully pushed our file1.txt inside our remote repository now similarly we will push our second file so for that first of all we will create the second file so click on this part a click on new file and give the name to the file so as file2.txt hit enter and paste the content or write some content so i am just pasting the previous content just changing the description to this is file2 i have saved the changes now in terminal we have to now uh, do, we know don't have to add the remote origin we have to just add the files we have to commit the files and we have to push the files so for that i am uh, executing the command as git status to see that the files that we need to commit so see here untrack files uh, file2.txt because we haven't added any file so we will now add git add space dot and then now we'll again check the status and then hit now see it's showing that changes to be committed and the name of the file is file2.txt because we have committed the file1.txt so it's not displaying that to be committed so now we'll commit it using the command git commit dash m and the message that i'll give now is second commit Okay, now I have committed one file change, four insertions. Now I have to push it. So now I'll push it using git push dash u origin master. Now my second file is also pushed. I'll verify it by refreshing the page. See, now my file 2 is also here. So if I click on it, I'll see that this is the file 2 content. So in this way, we have successfully pushed our code from local machine to the github account or github repository using git commands from the terminal so and uh, before uh, here in this uh, whenever we are trying to uh, commit for the first time then you'll also uh, sometimes you'll get this that is uh, to authenticate the user so you have to run this command that is git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email and in double quotes you have to enter your email from which you have created your github account and in username here in double quotes you have to mention the username of your github account so the username will be displayed here if you click on your profile picture here you will see that sign in as and then the name so this name is your username so you have to type that if prompted to authenticate your authenticate the user this command will also be displayed there if you are prompted authenticate the user so this is about the assignment number 2 part a of this assignment i have given the links as well as the git commands in the description box and also some questions regarding this assignment so do check out the description box so if you have any doubt or if you get any error while performing this assignment please let me know in the comment section so that's it for today thanks for watching We'll see in the next video.